Efforts are still underway this morning in Santa Fe to, for that search and rescue crew and a passenger that went down in the state police helicopter last night. We begin our team coverage with News 13's Dave Romero. He is live at the command post near the Santa Fe ski area where that rescue is still taking place. David, have they gotten their choppers up again? Deanna, so far all helicopters and aircraft are grounded right now because of foggy and rainy weather conditions in both in Santa Fe and especially up here in the mountains. And the search and rescue teams have worked feverishly throughout the night with less than favorable conditions to locate that downed aircraft. Now the state police helicopter was up in the Catherine Lake area of the Santa Fe mountains late last night to rescue a lost female hiker. Now the pilot and spotter on board located the lost woman and picked her up just after 9.30. Five minutes later, the pilot radioed into, dis, into the dispatch center, saying that the helicopter had made contact with the hillside and had gone down. Now, the downed helicopter immediately began to transmit an emergency locator signal, which search and rescue crews are able to detect. Now, there's also two coordinates indicating where the helicopter picked up the lost hiker, as well as where they went down. Now, about nine four-man teams are currently combing through the wilderness and braving the winter-like weather conditions. A steady rain mixed with snow at times has been coming down throughout the night. State police and other law enforcement agencies are combining efforts to reach the downed helicopter. Well, obviously, it's a difficult night for everybody in the department, uh, but, uh, you know, we have a job to do, and our people are committed to making sure that we uh, get every resource available to us and the resources that are being offered from other entities and other agencies out here to locate uh, the members of that aircraft as soon as possible. And, of course, it's not only those brave ground crews that are part of those valuable resources up here in the mountains looking for that, that down helicopter and that crew, but also by air as well. News 13's Bob Martin has been flying up in the Santa Fe area here all night in Sky Ranger and brings us this report talking about those efforts that have been by a helicopter as well. This is the Santa Fe airport seen with Sky Ranger's infrared night vision camera. Rescue attempts from here by air continued almost nonstop through the night. Crews of two National Guard Blackhawks were joined by a team flying the Bernalillo County Metro One helicopter. Crews using night vision goggles and heat sensitive infrared gear. They could actually get to less than a mile from where an emergency radio beacon indicated the down state police helicopter might be. But then they were turned back time and time again by thick, low clouds, snow, and icing conditions. That's because the site is at extremely high elevation up in the heart of the rough weather now moving through the state. It all makes the job much tougher. At about 3.30 this morning, the weather suddenly got a lot worse and all the helicopters had to suspend searching and land to wait for a break. Bob Martin, KRQE News 13, Santa Fe. While crashes like this one are not that common, the dangers emergency officials take every time they hop on board a helicopter are very real. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez is live outside of State Police Headquarters here in Albuquerque with more on this. Crystal. Well, Deanna, according to the website Officer Down Memorial page, there have been a total of three aircraft crashes in New Mexico that all involve state police. Now, yesterday's crash will add another to that list. Out of the three, five officers have died. The most recent that took place in 2001, where patrolman Damon Talbot and Robert Solis died after the medevac helicopter they were training in had a mechanical malfunction. A third member and the pilot survived that crash. In 1988, patrolman Wayne Allison died when a department-owned Cessna plummeted to the ground. The exact cause of that crash is still unknown. In 1984, two more patrolmen had died, Lowell Howard and David Smith. While performing an aerial speed enforcement operation, the plane they were flying in hit a power line, causing the aircraft to strike the ground. Now, in total, there have been seven emergency personnel that have died in aircraft crashes in New Mexico. But even more alarming statistics is when you look nationwide. Last year, the National Transportation Safety Board investigated 29 deaths in 13 helicopter emergency service crashes. Now, that's the highest number on record. Back to you, Deanna. Thank you, Crystal. In the last six years, there have been 85 helicopter emergency service crashes, which resulted in 77 deaths. Stay with KRQB News 13 and KRQB.com throughout the morning for the very latest on this developing story. We will break into programming with any new information.